The Swiss Tech Tree is a tech tree that started my World of Tanks tech tree journey and today will be the final Swiss Tech Tree video I will ever make. So in today's video, I'll be going through the tech tree or going over it and what it has to offer for the game. But anyways, I'm Jordan, also known as Hotshot Raptor, and welcome to the video. I upload a wide amount of videos on this channel, from World of Tanks, to a game I'm making, to funny moments and more. If you want to see them, be sure to subscribe and check out other things on my channel. The Swiss Tech Tree is a tech tree that is created by the Swiss user Mizu Teo, a tree that includes all types of tanks in the game, from heavy tanks, light tanks and medium tanks, tank destroyers, artillery and wheeled light tanks. The tree includes a wealth of tanks, 60 to be exact, including premium vehicles, which all differ in playstyle from the Kanonen Jagd Panzer like tank destroyers from tier 8 to 10 in the Tafuns tank destroyer line to the turreted Chanzard tank destroyers to the Panzer 74F, a heavy tank which has air suspension like the Swedish tank destroyers do. The line provides a lot of opportunities for the game and a lot of fresh content, which in my opinion is one of the best tech tree proposals to come out of the community. Out of every single video that I've done on a tech tree, this one, the Swiss tech tree, is probably the best put together one. The reason why is that this tech tree has very limited amounts of foreign tanks. Almost every single tank in this tech tree is made by Switzerland. Starting at tier 6 is the medium tanks from the tech tree. Tier 6 to 8 have decent mobility but somewhat weak armour. Their main armament from tier 6 to 8 are 90mm with the tier 7 getting an autoloader, which I'll explain why in a minute. Tier 9 and 10 are the Panzer 61 and 68 tanks which would play like the Leopard 1 and the AMX 30, however they would be slower but have more armor than those two tanks. The medium tanks have a sub wrench, which is the Chanzards. These are auto loading medium tanks branching from tier eight to 10 and come from that tier seven, which have an auto loader. These tanks will be similar to the French auto loading medium tank, but with smaller clips and a faster reload time, allowing you to be more flexible with these tanks. They will be slower, but will have better survivability as well, which I think is an excellent trade off with the tank destroyers there's two branches, the main line goes from tier 2 to 10 and the low tier tank destroyers having light armour but with a wide variety of cannons to choose from. Tier 5 to 7 are medium assault tank destroyers with decent armour, some respectable gun including an auto loader, 15cm howitzer and a 105mm gun. High tiers are like the Kanonen Jagd Panzer 105 with low armour, fast and a great gun. Tier 9 focuses on speed with a 72km per hour reverse and forward speed limit and tier 10 can mount a 120 millimeter gun would be phenomenal for its tier the tank destroyers also get a sub branch which is turreted branching from the tier 6 there are four lightly armored and turreted tank destroyers top tiers have limited traverse on their turret similar to the t28 prototype and the t110 e4 but are slower and have better protection than those tanks <laughs> Firstly, you have the Trapped Light Tanks, which go from tier 1 to 10 from tier 6 plus. You get the true light tanks, true scout classes, and they'll play a lot like the German light tanks. Then you have the wheeled light tanks. Starting at tier 5, the first two tanks are foreign, but with domestic modifications like the new guns and radios. Tier 6 to tier 8 are similar to the trap tanks, but with wheels. And the tier 9 and 10 play like the AMX 1357 in terms of its playstyle. <laughs> And then finally we have the heavy tank. From tier 6 to 8 they are medium tanks which should play a lot like the Polish tier 6 medium tank. A bridge for the heavy tank line from the light tank line. They'll be playing a lot more like heavy tanks rather than medium tanks but will still have that medium tank feel. Tier 7 would play like the tier 7 Polish heavy tank because it is a heavy tank. Basically a medium that's been up armoured and up gunned so much that it's no longer classed as a medium tank and it's now a heavy tank. And tier 8 is where it starts to begin the characterized bad hull armor for the Swiss tech tree. Starting with the KW 1950, but the tier 9 and 10 are very modern tank. They are conceived to replace the Panzer 68. They have bad hull armor, but they are very versatile with good mobility and good guns, making them dangerous if played correctly. But 
these tanks if played very badly can be very easy to deal with. Anyways, that's it for the Swiss Tech Tree. This will be the last Swiss Tech Tree video I will ever do, and I can proudly say this will be the last World of Tanks video for this decade. I hope you enjoyed all the World of Tanks videos I've been doing. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. I'll be uploading more World of Tanks videos in the future, but I have some upcoming projects to end off the year with that won't be World of Tanks, but might include World of Tanks. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already it helps me out a ton and yeah i'll see you in the next one